Welcome to another unit in this course on social network analytics. This time I'm going to talk about degree centrality as a measure of the importance of nodes in our network. Degree centrality, that's actually the most basic statistic in social network analytics because it basically means how many links does any of the nodes have. That's a relatively easy statistic which can even be calculated by hand, even for larger data sets. And well, that's not everything there is because we need to differentiate which type of network structure we have. If this is an undirected network, then just using the degree centrality as degree centrality is actually the only thing you can do. Because in this context, you cannot really differentiate. Is this link, is this edge leaving a specific node or entering a specific node? That's something which becomes possible if you have a directed network. And in a directed network, we can actually differentiate degree centrality into in-degree and the out-degree. So the in-degree, the number of incoming relations, incoming edges, and out-degree, the number of outgoing edges. And here I said number of or quantity of, because in some cases makes also sense to calculate the in and out degree, not as simply the number of links, but by summing up the weight of all the edges going into or flowing out of a specific node. That's what in some cases is also then called the weighted degree or weighted degree centrality. And well, if we can differentiate this into in and out degree, on the one hand, we can also add in and out degree, which in some cases then just called degree centrality because it would coincide with the degree centrality from the, un, uh, from the undirected version of the network. Or we call this total degree, the sum of in and out degree. In addition to the total degree, we could also get the average of in and out degree, which might make sense if they are significantly different. So that's a different version. And, well, if I say out, uh, mean degree, yeah, we can do this for each of the nodes. But we can also do this in general for our whole network as like one number describing how many connections each node has on average. That's where mean degree on a node basis differs from the mean degree or the average degree on a network basis. Well, that's already the theoretical part on different views on the degree centrality. Let's now have a view how we can get all of these informations if we work with Gephi. For this, I'm just switching over to Gephi. And here I already prepared two data sets. The first one is a smaller directed network. The other one is a larger undirected network. In either case, if I want to calculate any type of network statistics and next to the data table there's nothing, as is the case here, I need to go to Window and with Window select Statistics. This gives me the possibility, in this case, to calculate the different types of network statistics. In our context, especially the first two are the more important one. We have the average degree. If I click this, I get here the degree distribution and the average degree for the whole network. So in this network, there's on average six, six and a half links between any two nodes. Okay, so here we also only see the degree, the degree distribution, because, as I said, this is an undirected network. So here we can only calculate the degree centrality, which 
we do not find in the edge list, but in the notes list as an additional variable added on the right. So this gives us the overall degree. And it's only the degree because here we cannot differentiate, as I said, between in and out degree. If, however, I switch to my directed network, do the same thing with the statistics again, run this here, I get average degree 1, degree distribution, and now I can scroll down and I see here in degree, out degree distribution. And in my data table, I actually, if I switch to notes, get three additional columns with overall degree and then split up into in degree and out degree. So this already covers the first two parts. And well, it also tells me how I get the average degree for the whole network. Now I can do one final part, and that's if I go again to statistics, I have here as a second point the average weighted degree. If I run this, looks the same at first glance, but he added here additionally weighted in, weighted out degree and weighted degree. And in this context, he actually takes into consideration the weights. That's what I said if I actually consider how much is flowing into an or out of a specific node. And we see they are not really the same as before. Here we have less here in this context, which is this one, we actually get the same, but this is significantly different. So the values can really differ. Ah, sorry. That's larger, that's larger, that's the same. Now let's take a look here on the undirected network. We do this the same way, average weighted degree, we click here, we get an average weighted degree of 21.299. Again, only after degrees. The interesting thing to note before I get to the data table, in this context, he always notes the overall averages for my whole network. The data table now, on the note lists, I have here my weighted degree. And I see also that degree again, not necessarily means that I also get higher weighted degrees because this really depends on our specific um, weights of each of the notes, uh, of the edges. Well, that's then everything I wanted to mention on degree centrality, on the different types of degree centrality and how we can use Gephi to actually get data for each of the different perspectives on degree centrality. Well, that's then it. I say goodbye and see you next time.